hello you are welcome how to solve this nice olympiad problem 3 raised to power x plus 9 raised to power x equals to 27 raised to power x here we can write this as 3 raised to power x plus 3 squared then raised to power x equals to then 3 raised to power 3 here raised to power x as this will give us 9 and then this will give us 27 also from here we can replace we can interchange this power and write it again and this will become 3 raised to power x plus 3 raised to power x then raised to power 2 this is from the law of indices which is equal to 3 raised to power x then raised to power 3 now in the next step we can use a letter to represent 3 raised to power x because it's common here so let T now be equal to 3 raised to power x. Then we can rewrite this equation and this will become t plus t squared equals to t cube. Please subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Now from here we can take everything to one side. We take everything here to this side. So this becomes t raised to power 3 minus t squared minus t equals to zero and uh, we can factor t out from here so t out then we have t squared left here then minus t left here minus one left here equals to zero so we have two cases here we have the first we have t equals to zero then also we have t squared minus t minus one equals to zero and here we can solve this by using the formula, quadratic formula. So t equals to minus b, that's minus minus 1. Here b is minus 1, then plus or minus square root of, we have b square, that's minus 1 square, minus 4ac, a is 1, c is minus 1, then over 2a, 2 times 1. Then from there, we solve this and this will become t equals to minus times minus that's plus that's one plus or minus square root of minus one square that's one then minus times minus plus that's plus four all over two then here we have t to be equals to one plus or minus square root of five over two here we have two values of t we have two values of t here so the first being t to be equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and also we have t equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 and uh, we represented t as 3 raised to power x from the problem we represented t as 3 raised to power x then we understand that 3 raised to power x should be greater than zero and the here t is zero it means 3 raised to power x cannot be zero because it will be greater than zero so therefore there won't be a solution here also from here this value of t should be less than zero and we understand that t is 3, three raised to power x which is greater than zero so here too there is no solution then from here we can take that is t to be equals 3 raised to power x now equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now from here we take the log on both sides and then the log on this side we have log 3 raised to power x equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then from here we apply the power law of logarithm then x can come to the back here. And this will become x log 3 equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. This is from the law of logarithm and we can divide both sides by log 3 from here. Divide both sides by log 3. Log 3 cancel each other here. And here x now equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 log 3 over log 3 can also be written as log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then base 3 
from change of base of library thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and also turn the notification bell on if you have any comment put it in the comment section thank you see you in the next class and bye for now